Spider Publicity, and I'm here shooting a video for Lingua Musica, where music is the universal language. And I'm sitting with Larry and Jenny Keel right now before um, a show with Danny Barnes out at the Pisca Brewery. And we just want to talk a little bit about what they've got going on um, for the coming season. Um, Bunch of stuff. Here you've been fishing a lot. I've been fishing all the time. I uh, went this week got, uh, for about two hours. I went in there and uh, just in between playing music and writing music and trying to stay on the road and pick music for everybody. It's a, it's a busy thing, you know, but uh, that fishing sure makes it good too. Yeah, and you've got um, your fishing and fish picking workshops that you have going on the Bass of Grass and Trout and Tunes. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, it's a concept of uh, having uh, like music workshops and bass fishing or trout fishing uh, with, with the people that come, you know. So we sit down and we do uh, a workshop every day. It's about three hours long. And uh, with music, with, with everybody sitting around in a circle, and you know, try to it'll go from hand to hand. One person will sing a song, and then the next person will sing one, or the next person will pick one, and it all goes around in a circle. And everybody learns how to play music together, like that, you know, and play with other people and such. So, and then when we're not doing that, we're on the lake fishing or on the river fishing, and uh and eating good and just having a good old time. So who else comes to this? Well, you know, as far as players, there's a lot of great players. Steve McMurray, Big Daddy from uh, the Acoustic Syndicate, he comes down and uh, blesses us with his originality. And uh, Gove Scrivener from, uh, where's Gove at now? He's in Florida, but he's been Florida. a Nashville songwriting icon. For a long time. He's done a few of the bass and grasses. And Reverend Jeff Mosier. From Blue Ground Undergrass, plays banjo and sings. Great instructor. Caroline Pond did it one year. That was awesome from the Snake Old Medicine Show. Right. Nice. And uh, just an ever changing list of folks, you know. And then fans can come out to you and. Absolutely. I mean, it, even if you don't play music, you can come out and have a good time, listen and fish or. Just enjoy nature and a good group of like-minded people. You all have been in the studio lately, too, working on a new album. Um, where are you recording at, and what's, what's, when should we expect it? We've been re recording in Fredericksburg, Virginia, at Wally Cleaver Studio. That's where Larry and I have recorded our last two albums with uh, Keller Williams, The Grass CD, and Thief CD. And we did a bit of recording there on our last Larry Keel Natural Bridge CD, Backwoods. But this one has been entirely done from start to finish at Wally Cleaver's. It's got a whole lot of original music. Larry's music, Mark Schimmick, has brought a bunch of great new tunes to, to the table. Will Lee, our banjo player, he's, he's got original music on it as well. The singing is phenomenal. It's very powerful and uh, just really grabs you. So. We're psyched. We don't have a title for it yet, and we don't have an official release date. This is all in the organic forming stages. Um, probably by early 2012, we're looking to release it. So it's in the finishing stages. We're super excited. Yes. You're here with Danny Burns tonight at Pisca, um, and you actually you have a great reputation of. Uh, I don't know, anytime you play a festival, whether it's like the Festy or Spring Fest or wherever, you get up with like half the people there because you've been playing with them for so long, yeah. like like Yonder or, um, or Danny Burns, or, and you have all kinds of little side projects, and you have your side project with Keller Williams, um, but tonight you're here with Danny. How did you meet him? I guess the first time... Was, was it at yeah. Spring Summit? Yeah, a few years ago. Yonder Mountain Spring Summit out in Oregon years ago. I've been hearing about him for a long time before that. Yeah, though, they introduced you know. us to him. But the Yonder Mountain Spring Band introduced us to him. and I think he and I and Daryl Langer on the fiddle played for a little while during one of their sets, you know. This is a lot of fun. and We've just been trying to stay in contact, you know, about 
let's play some shows somewhere sometime together because he's busy all the time and I am too. It's a beautiful thing. I, I look forward to any chance I get with pick a tune with him. You know? He's a master. He's a highly creative fellow. The new John Hartford of sorts, you know. Mm -hmm. All right, so that wraps up a wonderful interview with Larry and Jenny Keel. And um, we're sitting here at Pisca Brewery backstage, and Danny Barnes just walked in. So we're going to sit down with him in just a little bit and do a little interview with him as well.